Hey Google Workspace and Cloud Identity Admins, this is Goldie again and in this video I want to share a quick mind map that I created that may help you in picking the right subscription plan for your Google Beyond Corp and start your zero trust uh, journey with Google. So let's pick the right plan. Of course, it is just the summarized uh, version of these plans and in case if I need to do a deep dive understanding uh, what each of uh, these plans offer, then I'll just link my other video here. Feel free to watch it. Okay, so there are three plans. The first one is, is called Baseline or it's a free plan. I won't say it's a Beyond Corp plan, but you still get some zero trust uh, controls uh, as soon as you sign up for Google Cloud Platform. It is available for free. What you can do in that, so you can create IP address and geolocation context-based policies on Google Cloud Platform Admin Console, APIs, and the applications that you host inside GCP like App Engine, Compute Engine, Kubernetes Engine, etc. So you should be able to create policies like if somebody's trying to access or maybe if our admin is trying to access Google Cloud Platform Admin Console, he must be accessing from United States. If the request comes from any other country, then uh, treat it as unauthorized and do not give access. So this was a baseline or the free subscription. Now let's move towards Enterprise Essentials, which is a recent addition in Google Beyond Corp subscription plans. It will cost you $4 per user per month. And I would say it is primarily meant for Google Workspace customers. So now with Google Workspace, assuming you're running enterprise uh, subscriptions like Enterprise Plus, you already get context of your access. So you can create policies uh, with signals from user and device and Chrome and third party signals. And based on that, you can create your policies to let your users access or do not access a specific resource based on that context. But other than access with uh, Beyond Corp Essentials, you can also complement it and go one step further. So for example, you can say, in case if the user uh, meets certain conditions, then he should be able to access Google Drive, but because now you have Beyond Corp Enterprise Essentials, you can say this user should not be able to download or upload any sensitive data to Google Drive based on this context. So you can you can apply those kind of policies with Beyond Corp Enterprise Essentials. And of course you get you know malware protection, phishing protection, threat and data protection, and you can have kind of Chrome-based uh, data loss prevention within the browser itself, uh, where you can leverage uh, the, you know, uh, inbuilt uh, detectors and all, along with creating your own regex and word list, etc. So to summarize, Enterprise Essentials is primarily focused on Google Workspace customers who would like to have more controls uh, on top of uh, context or access controls that they already get with Google Workspace Enterprise subscriptions. And finally, you have Google uh, Beyond Corp Enterprise, which is focused on customers who are running more than just Google Workspace. Maybe you have your resources running uh, in Google Cloud Platform, you have some resources uh, in your on-prem infrastructure, and maybe you have resources running in other clouds like Amazon Web Services and Microsoft Azure, and you need to gate them or you need to have zero trust access on those resources, even the resources that are running outside Google Cloud Platform via Beyond Corp, then this is the plan you should be going with. It will cost you $6 per user per month. I have a separate video where I talk a bit more about pricing and there are some other uh, requirement criteria that one should meet to uh, sign up for these programs. So I hope that might have been helpful a bit. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, please feel free to put that under this video and I'll be happy to collaborate. With that, thank you so much. <music>